Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello ladies, welcome to my spot. For women who complain about dusty men, ladies, I mean, you know what? You're always quick to see some woman call some man dusty. Dusty. Hey, he dusty. I ain't gonna mess with him. He dusty. All that. And, you know, I guess, I guess that mean he look dirty or whatever. Don't look like he got money or whatever. Okay, fine. And let me be clear. This ain't gonna be one of those videos where I'm telling you to give the dusty man a chance. If you're looking at the man, he's looking dusty or whatever, you should leave him alone. You should leave him alone. You shouldn't mess with him. Shoot. Just like I tell men to get quality women. And y'all heard me do the videos. Or leave the bad ones alone. Leave the dusty guys alone. But see, here we got a bigger question that y'all going to have to deal with. Why y'all keep running into dusty men? Because in order for you to run into dusty men, you got to be someplace where the dusty men are. Now, I keep hearing about all these women and, you know, keep hearing about y'all money and where y'all going and, you know, you on such a level, you know, and that level thing, let me be clear, that, that cuts across the races. You hear it a lot with some black women, but uh, quite just kept white women doing the same thing and probably educated uh, Asian women and uh, Hispanic women. In fact, I know for a fact that's the case. All right. You want somebody on your level, educated, look a certain way, keep clean. And I mean, you know, I actually said in my book, Nice Guys and Players, to the uh, men, I was like, hey, you need to be clean. I ain't use the term dusty, but, you know, I'm seeing dirty looking men trying to holler at women. So I get it. I get it. But my question is this. Where y'all be at to be meeting these dusty men? And I'm, I'm dead serious. I ain't trying to be funny. Because whenever women complain too much, I'm like, well, honey, if you keep running into dusty men, there are two, there's really two issues. One, you got the only way you're going to meet dusty men, you got to be someplace where they congregate or where it's constant. I can see every now and then. But where you at? Because I know some women talk about, like, some men, they dusty on YouTube. You don't know what the men look like in real life. You should. Because uh, unless you, only way you get a, uh, I use myself for an example. Usually if I'm doing something live or something, I'm doing it, um, I'm coming from the gym. So you can't get a good, you can't get a good read on me. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you say, oh, that's how Rom dresses normally. Hmm. You know? So you can't be using that. So if you're meeting them in the real world constantly, not every now and then, but constantly, or you say something like, uh, like, women used to just say, I keep getting these bad ones. I guess the thing now is, yeah, I keep getting these dusty guys. Where you at to meet them? And then, a really, a bigger problem, not that just you meeting them, but what is it about you that these dusty men find attractive? Most men stay in their lane. Most men. Most men. Most men uh, do two things. They stay in their lane and they go for low-hanging fruit. Most men, some men, you know, they shoot above their weight class or shoot above their weight, whatever. But most men stay, they stay in their lane. So if a dusty man is approaching, you constantly getting approached by a dusty guy. That says something more about you than the dusty guy. Because remember, always remember what I said. Men in general go for the lowest hanging fruit in general. You know. So if you constantly calling guys dusty, you constantly meeting dusty guys, and you constantly complaining about dusty guys, that's only because you hanging around them. Now, I don't give that impression as much now, but I used to be around a lot more bougie-ass people, right? And I do mean bougie-ass. <laughs> Those women never complain about meeting men like that. They never once. They, In fact, their complaints are totally different. They, their complaints are totally different, but they never complain about meeting bad guys. 
because they didn't. They never, they never, they wouldn't go places where they would meet. I'm like, I had a good friend. We, me and her are still cool to this day. That's amazing. I must be a good guy because I got, I got friends going back to the 80s and whatnot. But me and her are cool. But it was her and it was a few other women. I used to always joke with them because they would not just get guys, but outstanding guys. Like consistently, no matter where they go. But the, one of the things with them, one, they felt good about themselves. They had high self-esteem. They felt good about who they were. And they carried themselves in classy. Every single one carried themselves in a classy way. That was one. Two, they didn't go where they were going to be dusty type of men. Like one, I knew she used to shop at this one supermarket in uh, this uh, grocery store in the D.C. area. It used to be known as a place where people would hook up. Like people would go in there. They, they'd be having on makeup. They'd be going to get an avocado or something. They'd be going in there and makeup in heels. <laughs> they were funny mini skirts. I went in there one time. I was like, man, this is like a nightclub in here. <laughs> but I knew one of them, she would only shop there. And she would be meeting engineers, doctors. I was like, man, you like oh, you need to you need to do a seminar on uh, meeting outstanding men. Like nothing but outstanding men. Like like old money type of men. This was a sister. She meet old money type of brothers and stuff. And I was like, wow. And I knew another one like that. She had like a few guys on her short list to marry. And these, these are like all attorneys and stuff. They weren't running into that. And you even now, you got women never complain about dealing with dusty men because they don't. But see, when I hear women deal with that, that's the first two things I think. I say, I'm, I, I'm like, okay, where's she going to meet dusty men to run into them? And then the second thing is, what is it about her that they find attractive? And don't think I'm bored because I know some women might listen to this and think, oh, yeah, he just don't know. They just talk to me. Look, think about this section of YouTube. Think about this section. Now, I'm known as a dating coach, even though I would go way beyond that. But a big thing is men even approaching women. That's like a major thing. That's the, that's the biggest thing. Just meeting women approaching women that's the biggest single thing these guys worried about so they ain't just casually approaching any old woman there's got to be something in a woman that says she will be receptive to it i'm gonna use a very crude analogy it's like a panhandler a very good panhandler know who to ask for money and who not to ask for money they they can take one look so a dusty man he's gonna look at a woman and he's gonna assess whether or not he even have a chance with her so if a woman is constantly attracting dusty men, she got to look in the mirror. That's on her. And see, seriously, every, every single time I hear it, I'm looking at the woman complaining. Now, like I said, every now and then, you might get that dude who is dusty. Like any, any woman should be able to say every now and then. And when I say every now and then, not like every other week, but I'm like every few months, like less than five times a year probably. I'll say every three months. You might get some dusty dude, and that's only dependent on where you're going and where you at. But if you get that thing all the time, consistently, it's like, uh, baby girl, you need to change your address, who you hanging with, and you really need to look in the mirror. So for the ladies who talking about dusties, even these uh, YouTube creators, if that's all you talking about. Yeah, um, you got some stuff. You got some work you need to do. And shoot, you need to figure out where the type of the clean men or whatever term you want to use for them are hanging out. And they are hanging out. They ain't hard to find, y'all. They really ain't if you're looking for it. Your person could, I'm going to tell you what. A person can find some if they motivated enough to find it. That's one thing I've, I've learned in my own, you know, half century of existence on this planet. If somebody really wants something, they will find it. It might take them a little while, but they'll find it. So anyway, ladies, that's all I got for today. As always, peace and many blessings.